Hey up! Been a while since we've done this, or it certainly seems a while. I've worked that many hours over Christmas. We've not uh, had much opportunity for YouTube, which is a bit of a shame, but it's how life goes. So I've just parked up at uh, Upper Burbage Bridge Car Park. Just trying to dodge these, uh, these puddles. Apparently we're on a footpath here. It's more like a, a riverbed. A muddy riverbed if you ask me. Uh, you might be able to see Rav Beast parked somewhere. That, that, that one's it there. So, we're going to head up on to Higator to try and find a, a spot for a bit of a festive wild camp. And I'm failing that, I'm going to go on to Car Walk and any little bits in between if we can find somewhere reasonable-ish to pitch up. All this area is like pretty boggy but obviously we're not we're not even gonna contemplate pitching around here so we'll see what we can we'll see what we can find. Kids have still gone to my sister so I've still had my free evening so I thought I'd come and have a look but as I say it's uh well conditions are not great. I've been looking at the long term forecast for about the last 10 days and it had actually forecast snow which would have been magical which is why I kind of penned this day in but sadly it hadn't produced so we're in wet and mud. Uh, forgot me bleeding gaiters didn't I? Usually put them on when I put my boots on them because I've drove over here in my my trainers rather than my boots. I ain't got my gaiters, so I'm afraid we're going to be a bit wet. Anyway, I'm going to get up onto here at all, and I'll talk to you then if we when we start looking for some spots. So we're up at the summit of Higato now. Well, not actually quite the summit. The summit's just that way a little. Um, we're right on the path, but if I do struggle to find anywhere, I'm just going to pitch here. It's not ideal, but it's certainly doable. It's big enough to fit the alec in. I'm going to have a bit of a scout around. I've got about half an hour of daylight left. Um, depending on this mist and cloud cover, it might be a little less. But I'm just going to have a look around some of these areas and try and find a pitch that's a bit more away from path. Ideally, like I say, ideally, I don't want to go there, but um, in this weather and time, that's that's slightly more out of way. So it looks like we've got a few options. It's all reasonably good ground. I thought it'd be quite a bit boggier than this on some of these grassier areas. That's that's not looking too bad neither. So really, luckily, it's not too windy. It's a little bit. But rain's pretty bad. Obviously, visibility is horrendous as you can see from the video. But let's uh, plod on up here and have a look. So, I've decided on this spot here, overlooking one at Big Rocks on Higato. It's probably about as good as I'm going to get today. I do do a couple of minters over that way as well, but end of the day, you go with what you think, and uh, I think this spot's going to be quite good. So I'm gonna, I know it's a bit early. It's, I've probably got 20 minutes till official sun set. I think it's half three now, 3.51, something like that official sunset, but I ain't seen anyone in the last 30 minutes. I don't imagine there's many people up here. Can't see me getting disturbed. So I'm gonna get on and uh, get tent sorted. Oh, 
that was quite a difficult pitch that getting smashed bit bit wind and rain constantly right sound now down we're in mint so there we are um my phone died battery died on it so <clears throat> i've had to wait i've got all my quite a bit of my personal admin done so in that vestibule through there we've got all those wet stuff waterproofs and bagging various dry sacks and then this let me just shift that and down here it's gonna be a kitchen area i've got me my stoves i brought i actually brought two stoves because i didn't know if uh didn't know how cold it was going to be because it was forecast down to zero degrees so i bought the whisper light but i think it's probably overkill for what i need um found an absolute cracking spot on top of the guitar it's been like almost a perfect pitch um a few bits of gear new gear to talk about as i get them out and, and sort them i've only I've only got me uh my mats out so far it's just so i'm not sat on cold floor um so i'm just gonna get i'm gonna get a cup of tea on because i've actually bought some real milk with my horns um little vent got my little vent open same on the other side no water's getting through but I'll hopefully uh, keep condensation down a little bit. I'll just give you a quick look outside. I've just watched that footage back and the uh, the S20 camera makes it look so light. <laughs> I can assure you it's not. It really isn't. Um, but uh, you know, it's going to get dark in it because we're we're here at night. So I'm going to get uh, get a cup of tea made, get me sleeping tackle out, and uh, have a bit of a lay down and relax. I think. Just got me cu cup of tea on go. So I'll eat this real milk and all for once, Minter. So I mean, it's just a, it's just about getting pitch black outside. It's only about, it's about five o'clock, I reckon. Oops, hey up. Yeah, so, I've got to put a Disney Plus on my phone, so I'm going to watch a, a Marvel film or something like that after I've had my cup of tea. Let's have a look what I've, uh, I've not brought the most exotic of foods tonight. I've got a couple of um, boil in the bag ready meals. But what I've got, as we've been Christmas, I've got a nut selection, fruit and nut nutty, and then got my own little selection box there, mate. A few roses and Ferrero Rochers and the Raiders and kids selection boxes. They yielded a double decker and a crunchy. Um, for me, I've not actually brought that much food for. I'm going to be in here about 14 hour but um I'd get some decent ish kipping um I'm going to put the lights on on the tent now and go out and take a few photos before it gets too uh too wild out there so I'm going to do that now while my cup of tea cools a little and then uh, I'll be back with you at some point Just filling me hot water bottle up. There we go. Snuggle up to this for a bit. And then just before I'm ready to go to bed, I'll pop one into, I'll pop it into me, oh well, I'll reboil the the water and I'll bob it into my sleeping bag. Got this little got this for a well like a mid Christmas gift of Beth. Needed it for well I said I wanted one for tonight so she bought it for me. Bless her. And there we go, lovely. Lovely and snuggly. 
get that in between legs. Mental. Oh, so we're having a few nightmares, if I'm honest with you. I spilled my cup of tea in the tent. And look, quite, quite luckily, the only thing that's got wet is my, uh, my tent gloves. So the gloves that I wear in here. I have got my Alpkit Vulcan mitts that are insulated and waterproof and I didn't wear them on the way up. So I have got some, if my hands get cold later. Um, so it's not end of world. Um, but it is a full cup of tea wasted, which is possibly a bigger disaster. The first time that I've used the, the Xped Winter UL. And uh, I think it's deflating. Um, I blew it up, laid on it for a little bit, sat about on it, moved, you know, done a few bits of jobs and whatnot and it, it went well, like half empty so I'm thinking it might just be that I didn't close the valve properly but I could do without that failing but I could if I've not got the air mat I think I'm going to go home if it, if it doesn't stay inflated um, the car is well what I shall do is I shall walk down to the road and walk back up to Upper Burbage Bridge car park where the car is um, which is a bit of a kick in nudges if I'm honest with you but I can't just keep on floor you know what I mean we, we aren't the air mat it's I'm, it's not going to be comfortable I'm not going to sleep um, and what can you do about a gear fail so anyway I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see it, it, it does seem like it's inflated a bit more now um we're going to see. It, hopefully, I just didn't close valve. You know, I'm, I'm not jumping to conclusions, but I've got all sorts of things going through me at the minute. I just, I could do without bailing, but like I say, I can't, I can't skip on floor. It's only, it, it, that mat is my only, like, real form of insulation from the floor as well. So, if it fails, I'm done. So, we'll just see anyway. I, I'm going to, I'm going to cook some tea very shortly, so. Uh, and, even if even if I'm walking back, I'm gonna eat before I go, so <sighs> well a bit toss, but the the air mat has definitely failed. The uh it, it will not stay inflated, I've got no insulation from the ground, I've got no to sleep on, so I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna come home. Bit of a bugger, bit of a shame, but there's no point in me, like, it's 6 o'clock, I'm in this tent for another 13 hour. I've got no proper insulation, like I said, I think I've said it about 8 times, I've got no proper insulation, and I've got no comfortable to lay on. So, I can't, I can't do out, so I'm going to pack up and, uh, and head off home. Bit of a shame, but what can you do? So, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. So I'm nearly packed up, but this is where the uh, the Lightwave Wild Trek 70 litre comes in because this massive cavern, there's no, it's not what went in this pocket, what fitted here, what, what went there. Just ram everything in that massive bit and just crush it down, crush it down, zip top up and you're away. No worrying about packing up, just piled everything in. Just going to drop tent now and then I'm going to be off. I'm just say. Bit gutted, but there's not I can do. Just got to get me, me trails on, me uh, me waterproof jacket, and then I'm gonna be off. So I'll talk to you probably when I eat car. Right, I've got all this gear out. Everything's packed. Just need to get this tent down now. As you can see, it rains pretty bad. Um. Oh well, we'll get it done and get off. That's tent down. I've left no trace best I can, well not best I can, I've left no trace, there's nothing left behind just got to pick up my walking poles and then I'm motoring back down the car I'll rendezvous with you when I get to the car oh, isn't that a sight for sore eyes rav beast yes baby oh. right, I'll talk to you when I get in it because I don't actually know I don't actually know where the keys are but we'll sort it 
What an adventure, eh? What a complete nightmare. What a bad haircut. Just everything's terrible tonight. If I'm honest with you, it's been quite fun. Not, I mean, 200 quid mat failed on its first outing. Bit of a nightmare. Would have liked to have stayed all night. Would it a good adventure though? Definitely. I think I'll, after this video, because this is not the video I wanted it to be, I'll do an analysis video and see, uh, just analyse the, the fails, what can we, you know, what could people do about different things, why why did I make the decisions I took, but for now I'm going to get moving, going to get home, going to get into some dry clothes, I'm pretty, everything's pretty wet, I didn't really take care of things properly, I just bailed, um, so thanks for watching, I hope you've kind of enjoyed it, not exactly the best wild camping video you'll have ever seen, but um, I've had a bit of fun in a different way that I probably should have, but thanks for watching, see you next time.